Hey guys, welcome back to some OCR FSMQ lessons. I'm Joe, and today we are doing integration. So the learning objective for today is to understand integration as the reverse of differentiation. So the last few lessons, we've talked about this piece of maths known as differentiation, and that is basically where if you've got the name of the graph, uh, y equals ax to the n, you can find the gradient at any point uh, on that curve or graph um, by using dy by dx equals power to the front, not one off the power, and uh, Bob's your uncle. But today, we want the opposite of that, so, you know, differentiation is going down the power, so you can probably guess that integration is going up the powers. Now then, integration is the opposite of differentiation, as we've just discussed, so if you can differentiate, you can be pretty confident that you'll be able to integrate too. Just remember one thing, the constant of integration. Now that's something that's frequently forgotten about, um, you know, even at year 13 level, you know, we always, well not always, but sometimes forget about the constant of integration. It, it, it gets drilled into you eventually, and it just becomes second nature. So, to integrate a piece of algebra, if to y by dx equals x to the n, so that is uh, the derivative of a of a curve or a graph, then the integral, uh, that, that curly s there, the integral of x to the n with respect to dx equals uh, x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So let's talk about this now. That's the name of the graph which has been differentiated. That is integrating with respect to x. You can do it with uh, t, uh, with respect to t, or any letter if if this letter here is different. Uh, that is the letter that we integrate with respect to. And here we go. x to the n plus 1 uh, over n plus 1. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power is what you, what you say, really. So if that was a 1, I'd add 1 to the power that would become 2, and I'd divide by that new power, which would mean dividing by 2, or half in it. And that little plus c is just the constant of integration, that's what we call it. Don't forget the c, uh, unless you're going to work it out, you know, then you, you can drop the c, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So here's some examples, find the integral of the following if you want to pause right now, have a go at them. I'm going to go through the answers in just a second. And for those who are eagle-eyed, they are the same uh, graphs that we used in the differentiation video a couple of uh, lessons ago. So pause now, and I'll go through the answers in a second. Right, so hopefully you've had a look at it um, and, you know, done some wonderful maths. But, uh, yeah, let's add 1 to the power. You get 3. Divide by that new power. You get 3, and 3 over 3 is just 1, so we just call it an x cubed, and don't forget the c. So power 2 rises to power 3. Now with 4x cubed, we're going to add 1 to the power, and get to the 4, and divide by that new power, which is 4. And 4 over 4 is 1, so it equals x to the 4 plus c. Power 3 rises to power 4. Here we go again. 12x to the 5, so it's going to become... 12x to the 6, but divide by that 6, and 12 over 6, remember, is 2, so we call it 2x to the 6 plus c, and so on, and so on. Imagine that again, there's an x to the 0 bit there, we would add 1 to this uh, power, and it would become 9x to the 1, and divide by that 1 as well, the new power, and call it 9x plus c. So power 0 rises to power 1. Let's do an example. Remember that C that we were adding? Well, sometimes you're asked to work out what that fella is. How on earth are we going to do that? I hear you say. Well, good news when the examiner tells you some more information about the curve in addition to its derivative, such as a coordinate, for example, then we're in business. Remember that when you differentiate y, you get dy dx, and when you integrate dy dx, you get y again. So that's just something that we'll put in a cloud in the corner when we're doing this example here. So, the curve f of x goes through the point 2, 8. f dash of x, which is another way of saying to y dx, uh, equals 6x squared minus 6x. So find f of x, the original function, the, i.e. the y part, which is here. Right then. 
f of x, uh, yeah, f dash of x just means the derivative. That's what I just said before. f of x just means y equals or something equals a function of x. So we've got the derivative. We've got a point right here, 2, 8. Let's go. Let's go with what we know. Integrate first. So add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. And we will get 6x to the 3 over 3 minus 6x to the 2 over 2 plus c. And cancel that down. 6 over 3 is 2, remember, and 6 over 2 is 3. So we get to that. But now we've been given some information that when x is a 2, the y is an 8. So substitute your numbers in. There you go. That's just basically what I've just said. And there we go. I haven't animated this, so we'll go through it. Everywhere I've uh, I see, I've seen an x, I replaced it with a 2. So it's 2 lots of 2 cubed minus 3 lots of 2 squared plus c. So you end up with 8 equals 16 minus 12 plus c. So 8 equals 4 plus c. Take the 4 over the other side. Your c must equal a 4. And this is the most important thing that you must write for the examiner is the final answer replacing that c with a 4. So it will be f of x equals 2x to the 3 minus 3x squared plus 4. And that is your answer. And that is, in a nutshell, how to integrate, how to deal with it, how to work out your c. Next lesson we'll be talking about something known as definite integrals, um, which is something to do with uh, area. Uh, it really depends. I mean, I always work in terms of area for that, and then you cover all bases, but you, it doesn't necessarily have to deal with area. But that's the next lesson. I hope you guys have found this um, helpful integration. It's a wonderful piece of mathematics, and uh, we'll talk about it more and more in the coming weeks in this calculus section which goes on to kinematics eventually, which is mechanics 1 and mechanics 2 at A level. So it's pretty hard stuff. But I hope you find it helpful. Please leave a like if you did. And, uh, you know, leave your comments down below, you know, if you want to criticise the video, if you've, if you've found any mistakes in it. Um, I know somebody did uh, for a lesson a while ago, and that's really appreciated. Um, and, yeah... I'll see you guys for definite integrals in a couple of days' time. See you later.